Hello everybody, I am Sam Ronsky. I am a regional cloud advocate here at Microsoft. We're going to be taking a look at how you can use the backpack to enhance your ability to keep track of sessions and people you meet while you're at Ignite. Um, so once you've registered for Ignite and actually signed in, you can actually go to your profile and view your backpack here. And this is going to load in all everything that you've saved. By default, it's going to include everything that is in your schedule and everything is in, that is in your backpack. Think of your backpack like a set of favorites that you want to keep track of. And then your schedule as a thing, as sort of an itinerary throughout your day. Um, so your backpack, you can use it for sessions that maybe you don't have time to get to as they're happening and you want to catch later. Uh, maybe, maybe some online sessions or something like that. Um, or maybe some speakers that you want to uh, follow up with and maybe see if they're doing other sessions or featured partners. So partners, uh, I'm particularly interested in some of the HashiCorp things. Um, looking at sort of Terraform and how that can integrate with Azure, uh, as well as keeping track of other attendees. So if you want to look at other attendees, either myself um, or other people that you might meet at the conference, you can use the attendees feature to kind of follow these people and make sure that you actually know what they're doing and even see what their schedule looks like. I'll show you how, how to enable and customize all of that later. Um, so what this looks like is a list of all of your sessions. Um, so you can see here, this is what mine is. Um, so we have everything in my that is in my schedule and in my backpack. Um, so these are by default merged. You can turn that off by clicking this include in schedule button that will remove everything that's in your schedule. So by default, a lot of things will get added to your schedule based off of the um, selections you made when you were registering. If you click this, only the sessions that are in your backpack will be shown. Um, so you can include multiple of these. It doesn't matter if they overlap at the same time period or not. Um, it's just a way for you to manage your thoughts in a way that kind of helps you organize. Um, so we have all of this. Here's everything in my backpack. If you're trying to find something to add to your backpack, you can go to the sessions view, find a session that you're looking for. So I'm particularly interested in maybe finding something about Kubernetes. Or actually, let's go and look for something more about containers, because that's really what I'm interested in. Uh, so let's go and try to find um, something like that. So there's two different uh, types of things to keep in mind when you're uh, going to Ignite. Ignite is both in person and online this year. So you'll see each of the events marked, whether they're in person or online. Uh, since I'm attending online, I'm going to ignore things with this uh, blue in person tag because I can't travel there. It's a bit of a bit of a flight for a one one thing. Um, so we're going to look for this digital flag instead. And let's look at uh, I've already added most of these. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see here. Transforming your organization with the container as a cloud strategy. Uh, so I'm interested in this. I've I'm spent a lot of time with modernization and trying to adopt cloud native practices into legacy applications and upgrading them to feature that. So this sounds interesting. So let's save that. The way I've been approaching this uh, feature is actually adding just everything to my backpack first and then going back and sort of scheduling my day around what makes sense and what I'm sort of interested in. So I can also add it to a schedule here if I want to. It doesn't look like there's any conflicts right now with my current schedule, so nothing would overlap. Uh, but this way I can just add things to my backpack and then go and actually schedule things out after I've got all of the interests sort of cataloged and figured out. Uh, so that is managing your sessions. If we go back here, to look at my backpack now, we should see that session get added here. So transforming your organization with a container as a cloud strategy. So that's now added here. You can always remove it uh, if you do not want it to be there anymore. That will make it go away. Um, and then there's other things that you can do. So you can keep track of your sessions. That's probably the primary use that you're going to be using this for. But you can also use this to track attendees. So in this case, I have some of the people from my team um, <laughs> that I'm just tracking because why not? Curious what they're looking for. Um, and so you can also go and find attendees. So in this case, uh, I've done something sneaky and registered twice. Um, so we are actually going to go and find my other account. Um, and when you registered for Ignite, you had the option to include yourself in networking, uh, the networking list. If you clicked yes and enabled that, your name will be visible here and other people will be able to find you through this search. Uh, so if you do that, you'll be able to see me. And so you can go and see everything. I have turned on a number of features that actually show a little bit more about what I'm doing. 
Um, so for example, you can see what my schedule looks like. You can see all the events that I'm intending to go to. Um, this is still a work in progress, um, but you can kind of see those on this event or just save me to the backpack. Uh, you can also add things like contact information, bios, and things like that, which I have not done yet. Um, so if we go back to our backpack here, uh, now you should be able to see uh, our under attendees. You can see I've been added there. So now I can go back and find this. This is kind of a handy way to keep track of people that you might meet and want to follow up with um, or otherwise keep track of. The other option is speakers. This will give you a way uh, again, grabbing a few people from my team um, to find people in in your area or that are making talks about things that you're interested in and maybe find other things that they're presenting about. Um, so in this case, if we go to Gwen's uh, page, you can actually see all the sessions that she'll be presenting. Um, so in this case, both of these are in Spanish, also with Bruno. Um, so if you're interested in Spanish, maybe check these out. Um, but this is that and it gives you a way to find uh, other talks by the same speaker that you may have enjoyed the first time around. So you can actually find more of their content. The final option in this backpack is our featured partners section. And so what this does is give you a way to track other partners that are building experiences that work really well with Microsoft products. So whether that's Azure or other things in this space, uh, you can use this find partners button to go and find a list of partners that you may want to follow up with or go and learn more about. Um, so in this case, I'm interested in Terraform and learning a little bit more about HashiCorp. Uh, so let's go and find that. Um, and so if we go and do the search, we'll get this. Um, and so I can go to their page and save that to the backpack. So I'll have a way to follow up later. On these pages, you can also find a lot of information about what, what this company is, what they do, how to contact them and, and how to schedule some meetings if that's what you're interested in. Um, so that is how to use the backpack. Hopefully this is helpful um, and I hope you enjoy Ignite.